All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And um, today's lesson, I'm basically just going to be rolling in the spirit, going over some thoughts that came to me, um, which uh, you have Jake's that come up to brothers and um you know they basically find a way out of having to follow the bible because they say the white man gave you that bible you know meaning that bible taught you how to be a slave you know but these are the same people that say the white man is not the devil so if the white man is not the devil why would it matter if he gave you this book anyway and secondly you this just shows that last like i mentioned before how you have a lot of people, they just find a reason to continue on with their wickedness, okay? Because it, had they actually read the Bible, you would see that the Lord is a separatist, you know? And with that, you could always ask a person, okay, well, if the white man, so the white man gave you the Bible, the white man also gave you that, you know, you go to work, you know, for the check that the white man gives you, all right? You know? Or they may say, oh, man wrote that Bible. You know, but you, you, you'll read uh, 48 Laws of Power, you know, like it is the Bible. You know? So this, this place is damn hypocritical. All right, here it is. The so-called white man, his laws, statutes, and commandments, and his schools, you'll spend countless amount of money. You'll go into debt. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll uh, you know, serve him as if he's God but your actual heavenly father you can give two shits about you know you got every reason in the world not to serve him alright you know and <laughs> you know Jake's Jake's don't even serve their own pop, they own uh, uh, false gods uh, correctly you know a nigga turn away from Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai and serve Allah you know but you need to serve that correctly so Jake, hey, Jake is all gone, man. And Jake is going to be destroyed. Jake is going to be destroyed. You know, it's time to come back to your power. Because the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. All right? And no understanding, no other book prophesies about that. All right? Hey, no other book, you know, is talking about that. Explicitly has been talking about, you know, the other wars that came upon the earth, the wars that's coming upon the earth, all these things are written in the Bible. And on top of that, you have men that the Lord has set up, as it says in uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, to give you this understanding. All right? Where's these uh, uh, Muslims giving you this understanding? You know, where's the Buddhists giving you this understanding? You know, where are they? All right? You know, but hey, the scriptures say, uh, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You know, this is your life. The scriptures say, and um, what's that, Sirach 13? It says, take ye, because you walk at the peril of your own life. Something to that extent. All right, so this is 2nd Ezra chapter 14. Verse 29, our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Egypt, from whence, from whence they were delivered and received the law of life, which they kept not, which he also have transgressed after them. Then was the land, even the land of Sion, parted um, among you by lot. But your fathers and ye yourselves have done unrighteousness and have not kept the ways of the highest, the ways which the highest commanded you. Have not followed the law, statutes, commandments. You know, you push that those those ways is done in the way with. You know? So if the if the law, statutes, commandments, if the word of the Lord is null and void, you know, why open a book? Alright, Psalms is still good Proverbs is still, uh, you know 
it's still equitable to this day. But everything else, nah, that's 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 old, you know. Jake like to nitpick what they, you know, what they want to use for their own benefits. So it says, then was the land even Zion parted among you by lot, but your fathers and ye yourselves have done unrighteousness and have not kept the ways which the highest commanded you. And for as much as he is righteous, he is a righteous judge, he took from you the thing that he had given you. You know, so this is why people don't know who they are, you know. Because you will have stained the, you know, the righteousness of the Heavenly Father because we represent Him. We represent His name, His power, you know. So this is why, you know, at the end of the days, when we begin to get right, when the Lord's servants who are serving Him in, in, in righteousness and truth is pushing the name, you know. They're pushing it in all truth, sincerity, and power, and strength, not wavering. So it says, and now are ye here and your brethren among you. Therefore, right, meaning in slavery. Now you're here in slavery because the Most High took your power away from you, took your strength because you didn't appreciate it. <clears throat> now you're here wondering what's going on. Why are you here? Meanwhile, you had all the answers and you didn't want to follow them. Therefore, <clears throat> If so be that ye will subdue your own understanding, like the scriptures say, I believe that's Mark, the fear of you, the fear of me is taught by the precepts of men. You know, I think this, I think that. No scriptures to back it up. Brothers know. And reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. And after death, ye shall obtain mercy. And that's the time we're coming into. All right, opinions is going out the window. It's straight facts now. Prophecies are happening. All right, you got wars, rumors of wars. That's your Howard Shah spoke of in Matthew 24. Okay, you got people in their folly giving into marriage, as it says in Matthew 24, 2 Timothy 3. Okay, what does it say in Ezekiel 31? It says, When these things come to pass, and lo, they will. Then you shall know that a prophet was among you. I believe it's 33 and 31 to 31 and 33. You know, brothers could check that out. You know, but that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that mercy. Because when the Lord come back, man, he ain't playing no games. The scriptures say by fire in Isaiah 66 and 15, how he's going to plead with all flesh. When you look at that word plead, it's going into the word judge. you look into that word plead it's going into the word judge so you, you know you have two-thirds only God can judge me thinking that he's gonna thinking that he's gonna judge you off of Christianity beliefs not knowing that he's gonna judge you you know not knowing that the judgment has already been set you know not knowing that the men of the Lord whom he set, sent down in the flesh that look like you is judging you do you know He's judging you through them. All right, Amos three and eight. Surely the Lord God who have spoken, who can but fear? All right, the Lord Most High have spoken, who can but prophesy? Something to that extent. All right. So hey man, this is this is your last hope. Just some quick in the spirit. Uh, with that, Lord willing, you are can edified. Shalom to the elect.